Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers and the Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. This is video 5 in our series Tea and Honey by Collage Type. It's my design team project for August of 2022. Now, normally video 5 is a flip through, but um, today we're going to go ahead and finish up a few things and then um, that'll be the end of this video. I'm not sure how long it'll take. We're almost done with the cover. All we have to do is glue the papers on. So um, let's go ahead and start with that. So now if you remember in video one we cut the uh, folder to six by nine and left it at six by nine. We didn't trim it down to go with the papers. So um, that way it's a little bit bigger. Now with these types of books a lot of times I don't do a cover. I, I put like a uh, expanding file folder or something like that on the back and I'll put some other thing on the front and that'll be the cover. But in this particular one I really really like this picture um, or this image. And so I decided to go ahead and make a cover. So for the front cover we're going to glue and remember, we stamped around the edges using our uh, brushed corduroy and this stamp. Let's see. This stamp from our um, Tim Holtz, um, what is it called? Ultimate Grunge kit. Okay. And that's, that's these. And that just came off. Usually they stick forever. Anyway, so um, so I've done that all the way around. Then I lightly inked all the way around just to get the white or the cream color off, like we did in all the other pages. And so now all we have to do is glue the covers on. And put enough on there that we can smear it around. And these books are for my own personal reference. I don't um, sell them or give them as gifts. Most people don't even know what this kind of book is so if they got it I'm not sure they would appreciate all the work that goes into them okay so let's move this around remember this is going to be a lot smaller this image on the paper than the others let's get it straight that would be important So that's all there is to that. We just flip it over so that we get the back cover right side up. <laughs> hey, I've done it. Fortunately, um, it was on a book called Celestial, and it was the um, zodiac signs, you know, in the sky as stars on dark blue and purple and whatever paper. Don't tell my granddaughter. Um, it was her book, but you couldn't tell because of the pattern, but thank goodness. Otherwise, all that work would have been for naught. Well, the making of the cover, anyway. So now let's put him on right side up. Like I said, always a plus. Not really planning on putting anything on the back cover. Um, on the covers of this book. I really like this image. I don't really want to put anything up here to take away from it. Um, that's why the covers are so easy. 
and then on the inside we're going to put the same one on both on both sides and we have to put it right side up there's um, images on here They're kind of faint but there's words there's a bee house right here When you put the glue on like that, when you rub on it, it smears out. So there's no need, in my mind, to do the center. It depends on what kind of paper you have and what you're doing, I guess. Um, I think as long as the edges are there, the paper's not going to go anywhere. I know I can't get them off when I make a mistake. All right now, this one we want to make sure is even with the other one. Glue comes out better when you get the schmutz off the end. Yes, it's four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I thought it was earlier. But my neighbor takes a shower and goes to work at three. So. Or he takes his shower at three. I live in an apartment. That's how I know. Okay. We'll put this even with this one. We'll sew the book in and I'll show you in just a minute how I um, do the pages before they're ready to go I guess that's what you would call it I also have a piece of coffee dyed paper that I'm going to put in sometimes they do more than one but in this particular one I'm not going to put the envelope in the center So I only have room for one. I don't want to do the exact same thing every time. This is our paper. We're going to do a quick um, diagonal belly band page. So it's been inked. I've got my note, video 5, left or right, that I'll paper clip back on. I have this little envelope and it's got repositionable tape on it but I thought I would go ahead and um, as you can see um, I think I'll put this on here as a little tuck to tuck the, um, the, the cover into like that actually why don't we just do it only want to glue the bottom half of the stop sign It's got a line underneath it. We better get it straight. <laughs> and then it's got the glue on it. Which I can rub off now. Because I don't need it. And there's no sense looking at it if we don't need it. This is the same um, tape 
that I use. Um, oh, look at that. We didn't put it in the center center because the envelope lid was closed. Let's move it over. It's a good thing I had a lot of glue on there. Must mean my envelope is crooked. Hey, me and that envelope punch board have a love-hate relationship, I'm telling you right now. I found out from my friends that if you turn it to the left, then you always have that score line to line up with the little piece. Even though on the instructions it just says turn 90 degrees, so it, naturally you would turn it this way, but that puts your score line down here. And when you're making an uneven sized envelope, then, um, you know, like a two by three or something like that, then it doesn't come out right. It comes out a little square in the middle. This size. <laughs> okay. This is our paper. Now, I want to say I almost always do these wrong first of all. So let's, we can leave one. Let me see how I want to do this. Why don't we just do this? I always do these wrong. I really seriously always do. So instead of cutting the paper in half, we'll go straight over. I want a wider belly band than that. And then on this side, lining this up on the one inch line on this side. This is an experiment. And, and it appears to have worked. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? I'm in shock. I always, oh, we're not inking them that way. Darn it. I'm not doing another one. We did end up cutting the bee house off, though. rather well. Okay, so we're going to glue this two straight edges. They're all straight edges. We're going to glue the two ends. put new tape down to show me where the edge, the bottom edge is for filming, but I looked over at the screen. I don't think I put it up far enough. It's washi tape. Yeah. I'm 
only three leaf clovers. They're not good luck. Well, I'm not saying they're not. I'm just saying they're not four leaf clovers. Okay, now we're going to cut the card, which I love this image. We're going to cut the um, card before we put our envelope on our belly band. Hmm. All right, let's wait for the glue to dry and we'll go on to the next thing and then we'll come back and do the card. Let's wait for that glue to dry. So I put quite a bit on there. On this piece, piece here instead of using it as um, a standalone piece I'm going to use it as a page and we're going to put a belly band on one side and a pocket on the other it's going to be fairly straightforward this one we're going to put the pocket on this one is wide enough from here to here. I had ink all over me. It's wide enough from here to here that I can put a belly band in. We could put a small card here, which I didn't think to set aside any paper for a card, but I've got plenty. Let's see. That one I thought with the lines on it. Oh, it's too bad we couldn't put our... But, oh, we could. Makes it sideways. Anyway. I thought I had one. With the graph paper on it. I do have a paper, a duplicate of the inside cover only in a different color with this so we could make our bookmark out of that that's the same I can't believe I didn't set this aside there it is oh it's white on the back that's why I couldn't use it only um, except for a page back and then, look, I have another one. We can have a matching writing card and a matching, with a matching book band, or bookmark. Or tall, thin writing area. I'm going to have quite a bit of paper left over. All right. So on this side, we want to make a pocket. You know, if I had inked this, it would be a lot easier to see what we were doing, huh? It's going to be sewn in right here. So, we should have inked it anyway. We, you know, you guys slacked off. So I want it to be 
tall enough to support the tall thin. I don't want it to flop around. So let's make it this wide. I'm going to make it this high. Here, making any more thumb holes as far as I know. Probably could have put that away. spun the paper around in a complete circle. It was kind of funny. Now this is directional. Let's ink it. I really like this color ink. I, I had never used the brushed corduroy before, but I really like it. It's a nice brown. You don't see it that much in this project, but um, because we're using diff you know a different color kind of paper, but you do see it on these. And you see it on these too. It's just that um, we don't have the edge around something on that. I'll put this on here as a tuck and then uh, put something in here. Could have used that as the pocket except for the picture goes this way. And on this side, we're going to put a belly band. And it's okay that we're using the same paper because you're not going to see them together at all. So I'm wondering how wide do I want it. Not very, because you really only got this width to put something in. an inch and a half. It's almost too wide. The inch seemed so narrow though.
text. We've got text. Not a text. <laughs> but just regular text. So when we make the card for this, we want to keep the B. My brain is gone goofy. That's why I couldn't do one for the other belly band either. So my brain is just gone. doing it like I would a um, um, a card and not a writing card for a big area. I mean it's not a big area but you know what I mean for a belly band and not a pocket. I'll go back and ink that front and back. We'll take this paper and I'll make a little thin card. If it's thin enough to be a bookmark. Then I uh, may laminate it. Looks like it's going to be wider. Maybe not. Oh, I want to save the bee. Save the bee. <laughs> save the bees. Okay. So we want to turn it upside down and measure. It'd still be a bookmark. Oh, I forgot to round the corners. So nothing especially hard in this. Um, just kind of some finishing up touches. Um, and then I'll do the last three pages that we need to finish the book off camera. But they're not going to be anything um, especially hard either. Um, or I would have shown it to you. We don't need big fancy pages on every page, so um, pages that just have belly bands or a pocket with a writing card or something like that, um, normally I don't show. Okay, let me stick these in here and then I'll make a note to myself. it in the book without inking them. Okay, so we've got that done. 
And we got the covers done. Now let's go back here. This has something on it. This doesn't. So I'll probably, um, the bee's on the bottom though. Um, so I guess we're going to lose the bee. Yeah, I'm not sure. I could put a pocket here, you know, across, which I may probably, I may do. I may probably do. It's kind of funny. I'm thinking because if we slide it up in I don't know why my brain is not figuring this out because we'll be able to push push it in that far but we have to be able to get it in. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a left or a right page. Well, it's going to have to be narrow because, um, well, actually not. Because we can put it in like this and up like that. if we cut the length. I would have to say I almost put this image on the cover. Somehow this just doesn't seem right. Oh, for goodness sake. Because the band is so wide. That's why. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's because the band is so wide. I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do do one with a narrower band so that I can put this whole card in there. You know, we're so close. I just don't want to keep cutting it off and cutting it off and cutting it off. So anyway, that's how you do that, or it's not how you do that. Kind of stupid. Oh, wait a minute. What happened here? Look at that. Just a smidge smaller and it would have worked. Huh. What did I do? What? <laughs> what have I done now? do it. You have to pull it in diagonal the whole way. No, that's not how I did it. Well,
you know, I can't believe I'm struggling with this. Yeah, the belly band is just too wide. So, we do need to narrow the page a little bit because you're not going to have a writing card the exact width. Hate cutting off those flowers. All I had to do is print another one. If I need to, which probably will. Let's see if that helps. Almost. We're going to have this cut down to nothing. But we're going to have the envelope in the middle too. There we go. Yeah, see, there's no way to, other than that. All right, I'm just, I'm not going to glue the envelope on, but that's what it would be. But this is too wide, so we can't get our card up into the pocket. So I'm going to print another one of these. And um, I think I'm going to use a different paper for the belly band. I'm not really feeling that um, with this card. So um, this is going to be a do-over, but this is what it would look like in different colors. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. Done looking at that. Never had so much trouble as I, I just made the band too wide. Okay, so I've got my little note that says video five, left or right. Of course, now you would do, um, you could do video five in your note. So you could go back and refer to it if you have trouble when you're making it or whatever. Um, but I would do uh, page five, page six, page seven, whatever. Okay, so now this is what we're going to do with all this. And on a side note, I'm going to be working on a vertical journal for September. All right. So we've got this. We've got the cover. We've got the um, mm -hmm, coffee dyed paper. Then I went ahead and put these in where I thought I would want them to be where there's an empty space there's going to be is going to be where um, our diagonal page will go and where our um, other two pages will go that I'm going to make off camera okay so we're going to have the cover then we're going to have this page and video one, left or right, because I haven't glued anything in yet. I can still change my mind and move them around. Oh, there is coffee dyed paper in there. Didn't realize I'd already put it in. So we're going to put something here. And open this. And then there's going to be this page. And we open this. Which is going to be our center. There's going to be this page. Now, I'm thinking that in between here is where we're going to put this. Like that. This will go here. This will be in the center if I sew it right.
What did I do? All right. Okay, that'll go like that. I don't know, that kind of clashes with this page. See, that's that's what I'm talking about, is that um, the order of the pages may change. I don't really like this next to that at all. So what I'll probably do, let's see if there is a page that I like it with. could switch this right-handed page with this right-handed page. I put the belly band page in here. Put this back here. here. Oh yeah, because we had the two egg in the center. Okay, that'll work. Okay, so then I need to make two more pages. We're going to check thickness. Now, of course, I just leveled them out just for doing it because remember, we're going to be gluing them in the center of the page, not at the bottom. You know what I mean? So, we've got this, that looks nice with that. So this is going to be our book plus three more pages. Sorry, my manila folder was covering up my line. So, um, that might have you thinking that you might want to rethink um, A, adding a tie, but you can always put one around the outside. I have some brown. I got black. No. This would have been pretty, but I only have this much of it. I could still put an eyelid in the front and tie it around. Where is it? Here it is. This would be pretty. So I could um, glue some of it here. Glue some of it here and make this long enough. To be tie a tie, just glue it here. So then, when you untie it, then you've got this. Oh, I can't do it there. It's got a seam in it. Looks like it was probably part of cl some of the clothing that they cut up. Let's see if this is long enough still. Yeah, I would think so. I am not the greatest at tying bows and this ribbon is a little thick. I think I'll think of something else to do but use the ribbon. Or I'll just practice tying. But I really didn't want to cover this. So maybe putting an eyelid in the front. And running the lace around. You know, pull it through with the loop first 
and then putting these back through just like you would a topper on a um on a card that would leave me this and then run this around Hmm, I don't think I would have enough to do that because it would have to be double. Anyway, I have tons of lace. So, I will figure something out. Um, and you'll see it in the flip through. So that's what I've got so far. Like I said, we have three more pages and a tie for the cover. And that's all that's left. And then you'll see it in the, um, or sewing it. But we're just going to do a three-hole pamphlet stitch. And you can watch my uh, Christmas in July uh, Merry Grungy Christmas series. That's uh, July of 2022. And that's when I'm recording this. Um, and see how to sew in a three-hole pamphlet stitch um, into actually a hardcover. And um, it's easier in one of these. <laughs> All right. So that's the end of this video. And I will see you in the next video. And that will be just a second for you and a day for me. Okay, bye-bye.